Hi, this is Jane Gardner and welcome to Finding Your Purpose TV. We don't need this, so I'm going to take it out because I trust my computer because it's credible. Welcome. Welcome. You're on TV and I'm going to be talking to you about credibility. Why, you ask? Well, I'm all about credibility because this is what makes the world go around. So, anyway, this is part of finding your purpose. Once you find your purpose, you will be seen as credible because you'll be self-intentional um, in what you do. You'll be self-aware of why you do what you do. And people will understand who you are and know and like and trust you and see you as credible because you're consistent in what you do. So let's go and talk about credibility again. And uh, today it's actually all the basics about credibility. And I hope you understand this. I want to have to find a way, probably you have to find a way on the website to have a frequently asked question so you can contact me if you have any questions on this. So anyway, today we're going to be talking about credibility. Credibility. What is it? What does it mean to you? Who has credibility? Who lacks credibility? So what? Why is it important and why should we care about credibility? Well, today I'm going to be talking about, in this discussion, why it is important that you are aware of what credibility is and how it affects your relationships with others and how it affects you and the other person in terms of credibility as well. Credibility is fundamental and foundational for effective leadership and team building. In any office, it's e foundational for relationship development with others. If you're doing a job search and selection, you have to be seen as credible, as well as if you're coaching and teaching, you have to be effective uh, and credible person. And customer service, of course, to be in an awesome customer service, you have to have credibility. And, of course, in order to do sales, you, as the salesperson, has to have credibility. Otherwise, the other person won't buy. So, <laughs> these are just some of the simple ways that you need to have credibility. So, let's have a look at what happened here. I guess something happened here with my slides. Sorry about that. And darn it, this is my most important slide. So we are going to do that slide again. So I'm not going to stop. I'm going to show you what I do. I keep going. So I am going to do another screen capture and ask myself why this slide moved. Because this is the most important slide. And we're going to open it up to you and say credibility is the level of respect others think about you. So, well, we won't <laughs> we won't start that discussion about what just happened and whether you find me credible. But, yes, I respect you and hopefully you respect me because I kept on going. So, here we go. <laughs> See if it happens again. Yes, it's happened again. For some reason, my slides have moved up and down. <gasps> darn. Darn, darn, darn. Now, what's going to happen here? For some reason, I had a slide that wasn't correct. So, don't stop. We'll talk about credibility as we do this again. Darn it. So, there's my studio background, and I'm going to be adding another screen capture of the slide, because the slide moved down. Next time, check your slides, Jane, before you start to make sure they're all the same. As credibly credibility goes up, so does others' willingness to believe what you believe, value what you value, support your plans, help you achieve your goals, be honest with you, and trust you. It's the old know, like, and trust you. Credibility, very important in any relationships. So, what makes credibility increase and decrease? Behavior. Basically, behavior. Because that's all we can see about a person anyway. Is your behavior what we see? 
as being appropriate from the other person's perspective, not yours. To time, tax, people, and situation makes your credibility increase. Behavior perceived as being inappropriate for the same factors makes it decrease. So credibility has three levels. There's yourself. Your reality is based on your own beliefs, whether good or bad. And so you can have credibility with you in terms of your reality and who you are. We'll give a little sample later, but others, the secret to understanding your customers is understanding that they are perceiving who you are from your behavior and your credibility. So then we have organizations. Um, they can also have credibility in terms of their organization on how they present themselves. I, of course, should have had some lo logos of more well-known companies than mine, but this is my bio, which is my open bio in terms of who I am, where I live, who I work with, who's my husband, what I do, what I love. So I like to think by sharing this bio rather than some boring written out uh, text document, you enjoy um, looking at what I enjoy to do, and I have more credibility as a human being and as an organization, I guess, because I'm the only one in this organization. So, delivering, developing credibility, behavior examples that build credibility. Well, we could go through them one by one, but I think you all understand that honesty helps to develop credibility, devotion, punctuality, uh, being good, example for others, ethical behavior, taking responsibility for your behavior when you make mistakes, keeping promises, forgiving and understanding when other people make mistakes, uh, getting involved with the community, with, your, with others, um, volunteering, focusing on the positive. These are all things that develop your credibility and these are all behavior. So the point to this is your behavior is what develops your credibility. And of course, here are some of the things that can destroy your credibility. Dishonesty, lack of devotion, no concern for time, setting a bad example, unethical behavior, breaking promises, denying responsibility for behavior, being unforgiving, not getting involved with others, focusing on the negative. These are all things that can reduce your credibility. And Credibility and the qualities of credibility uh, from the book by James Coase and Barry Posner, How Leaders Gain and Lose It and Why People Demand It. It's a whole book on credibility. And they did a studies and surveys of thousands of organizations of the employees, of course, in terms of asking them what they felt were credible qualities for a leader. And these were the four highest um, traits of a good, credible leader. Honesty, being competent, being forward-looking, and inspiring. Inspiring others to do what they need to do, as well as being forward-looking, looking to the future. These are the kind of qualities that make a leader credible. Feel free to go and look at the book to read more about credibility. In many situations, your greatest strengths can become your greatest limitations. For example, who likes to control your business, your meetings, and your personal life. But you don't share how you make decisions or listen to other people and their opinions. Well, how much credibility does this leader have with his team? Not much, because they are not be willing to be part of the community and listen to others and it reduces their credibility. So what can you do to improve your credibility? Well, one thing that I could have done, of course, <laughs> is to check my slides before I started. But we are going to be have ongoing discussions on credibility because it's a very important topic. Because it's all about really um, knowing who you are and knowing who other people's are and being able to find your purpose so you act with purpose 
and you understand who you are and you can communicate who you are, your qualities to others so that you are seen as credible because of the consistency in how you behave. So it's going to be quite a discussion on credibility here at Finding Your Purpose TV and anyone who'd like to have a discussion with me on camera is welcome to come and share their wisdom as well. So hopefully we will have a few um, people coming to discuss credibility and being a leader. Actually, I do have a, leader sh a leadership show, so I've got to go out and get some people who believe in being a leader and discuss what traits they think a leader needs to have. But today, this is all about credibility, so let's go and uh, finish this off. So thank you for listening. <music>